Why switch to GA4? Well, it's important to understand the history of Google Analytics to gauge why. It all dates back to 1997 when Urchin Project was founded by a small company called Web Depot who specialized in business development and web hosting. After attending a trade show in 2004, Web Depot networked with Google and agreed to rebrand Urchin as Google Analytics in November 2005. Hence, GA1 was launched. In 2007, Google released their new version of Google Analytics, which featured a new interface with email reports and detailed graphs, customizable dashboards, and plain language descriptions for easier use. Later in 2009, Google introduced an asynchronous version, enabling faster loading times with improved data collection. In 2012, Google released their new platform, also known as Universal Analytics. This new version included many features such as cross-platform tracking, multi-channel funnels, real-time reports, custom dimensions and metrics, and much more. And this is where we currently are. In 2020, Google introduced the all-new Google Analytics 4 in response to privacy concerns with a collection of customer data in Universal Analytics. This platform unifies the best aspects of Google's mobile analytics and Universal Analytics for better management of data. Some great features include its event-based model compared to sessions, cookie-less measurement, conversion and behavioral modeling, just to name a few. For a long time, consumer privacy has been a hot topic, with governments all over the world passing their own bills in response to citizens' rights on data and security protection. With privacy in mind and certain global regulatory changes, including GDPR, some European countries have already started to ban universal analytics. It's of essence to use a platform that addresses these concerns, and Google Analytics 4 has introduced many controls to enable what data is being collected. Closer to our shores, the latest Optus breach is a further indication that governments are serious when it comes to this topic. We can only imagine not only the huge financial implication, but also the damage to brand reputation this has had on Optus as a result of having improper security measures in place. Furthermore, a recent breach to Medicare illustrates importance. Companies like Google are constantly under pressure and scrutiny to comply and safeguard consumer data. Google Analytics is no different. Google Analytics 4 was developed to better focus on customer privacy. In response to GDPR, the California Consumer Privacy Act, or CCPA, and other acts around the world. This is why Universal Analytics will become obsolete and Google Analytics 4 will become the default version and sole option offered by Google. Universal Analytics will become obsolete as of July 1st, 2023. That's right. It's coming up soon. Marketers and businesses around the world are going to be panicked come July 2023. But thankfully, because we're having this conversation right now, this won't be you, hopefully, fingers crossed. As of July 1st, 2023, Google Analytics will stop collecting data. Google has stated that you'll have access to your old Universal Analytics for at least six months, which means in 2024, that data may be lost for good. Anyone who hasn't migrated to the new Google Analytics 4 by this date runs the risk of no longer having access to website visitor and usage data to make business decisions, no longer being able to measure the effectiveness of their marketing efforts, it impacting advertising performance, losing their historic Google Analytics data, losing customer and market insights, and being unable to report results to key stakeholders like executives, board members, and investors. A couple of reasons to switch now include you'll have more runway with data quality improvements the sooner you implement. Consultants will be extremely busy and charge more as the migration deadline nears. You can set your strategy and measure it step by step in GA4. It wasn't as possible before. You don't have a choice and you won't have data if you don't back it up elsewhere. We've researched a number of alternative platforms to GA4, such as Piwik Pro, Wix Analytics, Matamo Analytics, Fathom Analytics, just to name a few, and have found that GA4 is not only free, but also the best option in most cases. GA4 offers many improvements over Universal Analytics, including it's privacy first, giving you more control over data, you can collect events automatically, have more parameters available, and more reporting options. The tracking code is much simpler to implement. Data deletion is easy and includes better data gap modeling capabilities. Events can be turned into conversions easily. It uses machine learning and introduces predictive analytics. There's less reliance on the interface with an easy data export into Google's own data warehouse, BigQuery. And it's also an opportunity to reset and refresh your marketing strategy and make sure measurement is aligned to it. Google Analytics 4 focuses more on a user's journey and the events that are triggered throughout it. The new data-driven model means that you can use a single set of metrics 
metrics and dimensions to look at both web and app data. Having the ability to track a user that visits on their mobile, comes back on desktop, and then downloads, purchases, or registers through your website is a new feature ushered in by GA4. GA4 has many actions and events set up out of the box. These include clicks, scroll behavior, transactions, file downloads, and users' first visits. Form submissions and e-commerce goals may not automatically be set up. However, the process has been simplified, now requiring much less time to implement than previous iterations of Google Analytics. GA4 has predictive metrics that allow you to make data-driven decisions on a larger scale, helping you to better understand your audience. With these new metrics, you can create audiences based on predictive behaviors, allowing you to then target them in Google Ads or on social media. These new metrics allow you to both improve retargeting campaigns and improve website performance by creating custom funnels for different audiences based on behaviors and needs. We've been busy undertaking months of training, getting fully up to speed with the product and have developed a number of processes to ensure you get the right implementation in place. It's also an opportunity to realign everything to your company's marketing strategy. I know personally, having managed a number of Google Analytics accounts over the past, just how messy things can accumulate over the years. With multiple stakeholders, past and present, changes of goals, website relaunches, it's a good time to start with clean data and align to your 2023 vision and company strategy.